Hello YouTube, Lobo reporting back in. Uh, slight hitch in my little recon efforts. Um, the creeks, I had two creeks that I wanted to scope out, but the roads going out to them were closed. So I tried coming around uh, another way that I thought I could get to this area. I figured out why the road is closed, they're logging up here right now. So it may be a couple of days before I can get to that creek. I'm gonna have to check out some other options. But yeah, here's the uh, logging efforts here. I'm, I'm gonna have to assume these are pine beetle. That's the reason why we're cutting these. But uh, what I can do though, go on a nice hike with the dogs. There's some other places I can check out for gold, but I don't want to spend all day driving around. It looks like I may be in the middle of some fat wood. Fat wood, pine sticks, pine fat, pine tar, whatever you want to call it. It's the miracle kindling. I can get my hands on some of that. Alright, so we're going to poke around. Have us a lazy day. My favorite, the pine tree. Got the resin there. This is nice in these bark. Let's take a little spark. Uh, the trail that we had to go on, there's, there's uh, the creek. I figured it'd be dried up. It's not the one I was looking for. But the creek that's down here is dried up. Oh, beautiful. Come to Papa. Going after the easy pickings. And the reason is, is there's plenty to pick from. It's a beautiful day out. Very beautiful day. That's been over there. It's pretty much just the pine that's going down. I've seen a uh, Pine beetle marks on the bark of some of these trees. Let's see. <sighs> Down towards the end. Towards the end that. Coloring's nice, but I don't think that. Up here. Did you like that hand that uh hatchet axe in there? You get me on camera, I'm a freaking badass.
this is sap. You can look for where uh, bears or other creatures may have disturbed it or people like me throwing an axe at it. If you can see that there. Cement, chewing gum, uh, fire starter. Suture your wounds. Because uh, pine sap is actually called turpin. Turpin is where we get turpentine from. You can also use this to finish wood. If I'm not mistaken, what you have to do is boil it off. Boil the turpin out of it and then it becomes a varnish. Watched a bunch of videos from a most righteous man. Trapper Jack, I believe it is. He goes out in the wild with nothing but a knife. One time I think he didn't even have a knife. Came across bones and rocks, fashioned his own weapons. Went fishing and hunting. And the first thing that he really started to do, to pick his up the ground, is he started gathering up pine sap, the turpin. It's all crystalline here. Cool. So, kids coming right along. Only been out here for a couple of minutes. There's better ways of doing this. But, uh, damn, that smells good. It smells like a clean house. Oh, this right here. Who's your daddy? So, if you need somebody to start a fire, man, y'all give me a holla. across this a lot and uh, I don't feel right taking too much of it but again it's a dead tree that I'm looking at here well no it's not so I better hold off so what it does basically is the sap you can see right here there was a wound if you can see there I had a wound here the sap came out of the bottom. What the sap does is basically runs over where the bark was removed. And where the bark is removed here, it completely covers it over to protect the tree. Now, if you're out someplace and you have a, a pine and uh, there's no visible sap on it, you can look at where they like the dead branches off to the side. But if you don't see any sap on it, you can score across here, or better yet, with the hatchet. Hatchet across here like so. And if you want, you can put a fasten a container to the bottom, some kind of a drip well. Leave it about 24 to 48 hours, and it'll fill up with about a half a pint to a pint of sap. And that's good stuff. Very good stuff. All right, well, I'll leave you alone. I think I got enough just for today. All right, you ready to get out, Miss Penny Lou? You want to leave Frankie here, or should we take him home? You want to take him? All right, you're better than I am. Thanks for watching YouTube. Here comes Miss Penny Lou. I've been looking for you for five minutes, kid. I was getting ready to beat the tar out of you, but I see you're wet. You want to show us where you found that water at? Frankie, thirsty? Scoutmaster Penny Lou saved the day. You look like crap, kid. All right. Let's go find that water she found. Because, you know, I ain't sharing my good stuff with you. Penny, I was scared to death about you, girl. My little divining rod did find water. It's stagnant water. There's still water that could be purified if I needed it. Hey, YouTube, this is Lobo again. Heading back to the car. I wanted to point out these. These are trail markers here. I don't know what they're officially called, but it's for when you're hiking. It's a good idea. Kind of leave uh, breadcrumbs back behind you, if you will. Uh, the only thing I'd recommend to the person that did this is don't use orange. Um, it may work right now, we're in the summertime, but in the fall, you would never see this because the trees are turning orange and yellow and beautiful red. So if you're going to be up in the Rockies, I'd recommend you do something in the color of a blue. Uh, and we recommend that for a lot of, uh, for example, in hunting season, which is actually during the fall colors. You can wear orange if you want to, but you'd be better off wearing blue. 
And in fact, if you're in Colorado and it's hunting season, probably the best thing you can wear is an old school Denver Broncos jacket because that's, that's the color of blue and that's the color of orange. It'll keep you safe. Hey YouTube, this is Lobo. This will be the last video on this trip. I uh, didn't know what would be more annoying, the sound of heavy winds or the sound of my dogs in the back seat. So that's my dogs. So we got some, uh, just trying to get some identification going on some of these uh, quartz, quartzites. Whatever they are. Like I said, I'm a fishmonger, not a geologist. But I do play a geologist on Facebook. Uh, this here, there are streaks of it in here. But this is the uh, fatwood, pine. You can also get it from pretty much anything in the pine family. It's got little darker streaks in there. And then all you have to do is basically just scrape off just a little bit of that. Put a spark to it. You get a fire. So I got a couple pieces. There's tons of it out there. I don't want to be greedy. I'll come back and be greedy later. I don't know if you can see that's coming up or not. And then I got some bark that's uh, resin saturated. And then I got the dried resin I collected earlier. I'll go home and process that and see if I can clean that up and get a good salve out of it. And I got some little bit larger rocks. And where's the one that I was most excited about? This one right here. Right here is nice. It's got the quartz, and you can see the iron in there because it's rusted. Sweet. So we will be coming back here to get our supplies. We're gonna poke around and see if there's any gold up here. Cause Miss Penny Lou found water. Woo! You're a good girl, Frankie. You didn't find nothing, dude. You found that pain in my butt, but I still love you. I'm hard on you because I love you, buddy. One day you'll be a good dog. <laughs> you ready to go, girlfriend? Let's hit the road.